is Fight Series 6. Everyone, please help me welcome to the cage, Earl McKinney. Earl McKinney, four and one. Fighting out of Striker Fight Center from Kennesaw, Georgia. And man, this is an incredible way to start off the main card. That amateur Aries championship bout, 135 pounds, five rounds, five three minute rounds. Man, am I prepared for it. Brought to you by the Zero Hour, where guys like me, Jeff Hobbs, Tim Lloyd, and Greg Hopkins, and Justin Watson do the podcast as we talk about fights like this. And man, talking about a fight like this, man, we knew from the jump, Earl McKinney versus Joel Winters. These are some of the top two guys here in the Southeast at the 135 weight division. And man, they look incredible. The striking of Earl McKinney at some point, he has power. He is aggressive. I'm excited to see this matchup. Dylan, what's your thoughts? Well, we know that there's a, another fighter in the building with his eyes on the result here, as Riven Sullivan called out both of these gentlemen yep. uh, not too long ago here just to, at this event. Uh, that being said, Earl McKinney, um, I mean, the guy is in this spot for a reason, right? You see the record at four and one. He's got experience, he's got skill at age 23. Uh, this guy's got a bright future, uh, as does his opponent, but Earl looking to have a pearl of a performance inside the octagon, and I'd expect that we're gonna see his best version of himself. Uh, he's, he's definitely in great shape, and uh, I'm excited to see what he brings to the table. Yes, as anybody who does do remember, on making fight night, Earl McKinney fought against Mel Welcome, Malcolm Wellmaker. Yes, he came that's right. short in that matchup, and great fight. That was Man, a great fight. you know, really good fight. And for him to, you know, come up short in that fight, he comes back now fighting for his title. I mean, another title. You know, he had the opportunity to win the NFC title. Now he comes back to try to win the Aries title. You're willing to bet he's going to come back with some type of ambitions to say, hey, I'm going to win this title. I'm finally going to get it. We will see. Back with Jeff Hobbs. And now, help me welcome to the cage his opponent, Joel Winters. Joel Winters. Four, two, and one out of ATT, Atlanta. And man, 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 man. This kid right here is something special, man. He has been cre uh, constantly getting better. Fight after fight after fight. Each fight, um, he as he progressed, he looks better better and better and man now he is getting ready to fight for the title um and now he's in a really good position man you know if he wins this title i mean he'll be perceived as one of the best amateurs that there is in the southeast oh yeah i mean at this point he's beaten a lot of tough guys he's fought a lot of tough guys man you know you look at his four two and one record he's, he's been in there with a lot of tough guys and now you've given joel winners the opportunity to win the 135 aries championship it's going to be incredible. It's going to be exciting. And I cannot wait. This is going to be a really, really good fight. Five rounds. Man, I know something about that five round, man. It is. <laughs> the championship <laughs> rounds oh loom, my right? Gosh. Yeah. Lord have mercy, man. When you get to that fifth round, it is something else. But we're going to see, man. This is going to be smaller weights, man. This is going to be really exciting. Houston, what's your thoughts on Joel? Well, you know what? This is a. Uh... Joel is a is a beast to, to be reckoned with. He truly is. He has some amazing coaches in his corner. I'm excited to see what's going to happen tonight. Boom. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of the evening is sponsored by the Zero Hours. It's scheduled for five three-minute rounds, and it is for the vacant Aries Amateur Bantamweight Championship. Your first fighter. Fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. He weighed in at 136 pounds. He has a record of four wins with just one loss. He's representing Striker Fight Center at a Kennesaw, Georgia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Earl McKinney. Going and on now, his opponent fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. He weighed in at 136 pounds. He has a record of four wins with two losses. 
He's representing ATT out of Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is El Chino, Joel Winters. Gentlemen, let's meet in the center and make this title fight official. Wow. Yeah. We've been over the rules. Keep it clean. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Let me out of this cage. I don't think Caleb, what are you doing? They, no, they, they are ready. Let's go. Wow, they this are ready. ready. Luke Wilson in as the referee. Earl McKinney in the blue corner. Joel Winters in the red corner. And we are underway. Oh, man. Interesting. Straight to the takedown from Joel. Joel got a really good body lock there. Mm -hmm. Oh, McKinney's really fighting really well off of it. He's kind of showing their strength immediately. I like that ring gear for El Chino. He's looking... Uh, I noticed that too, yeah. Looking, yeah. Lo looking pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. I need to get a pair of those. <laughs> really good job by Earl McKinney. Keeping that underhook high. Oh, we might see a... Almost a judo throw. Oh, good knee to the body. Yeah, okay. you could hear that. Man. Oh, good punch there from Earl to the leg. Any type of strike. Okay. We I might like go that. for a Kimura yeah, right I saw here. The Kimura grip set up. I like that. Oh, wow, standing. Nope. He's not too worried. Oh. But now this is a spot where you need to be a little worried about that. Let go of that grip. Oh, no. Oh, oh he still That no. is tight. Man. That is really oh, no. tight. Wow. Wow. Ooh, man. Ooh, that was nasty. I mean, the angle oh, keeps uh, increasing on that. Oh, my gosh. That is bad. He's got his head and neck isolated there. He's continuing on. He's oh, got a triangle man. there. I don't know if he sees it or not, but he. That's really tight. Oh, he Joel. sees it, but I don't know if he can get that angle that he needs on it. He's going to invert a triangle. Okay, he set that up a little bit. Nor now he's kind of compromised himself into a bad spot. Yeah. If he's not going to hold on to that. Earl showing the yeah, Earl got the back of Joel. There we go. Oh, good ground to pound there from Earl. I think Earl put a lot of oh! into that. He's going to have to have answers. It, it's hard to get out of that turtle up position when you're in the corner there. Yeah. He is tight to the cage there. Yep. You got Earl McKinney. Oh, he's going oh, for the rear wow. naked. Oh, wow. That is tight. That is very, very tight. Right hands. on the blade of the wrist as well. It's a hard spot to be. He's he tapped. Um, Great. And oh, wow. McKinney gets the victory. Wow. By submission. That's amazing. Great, oh, great fight. Great, great man. fight. That was great. Wow. Iron sharpens iron, and Earl was just coming off, off the heels of a title fight, showing some, uh, some levels to his grappling skills here tonight. Wow. What an incredible way to get the finish. And at a point, we thought Joel Winters had a great opportunity. Yep. Yep. He went for the Kimura, switched it over, and it was in really tight. But, man, Earl McKinney stayed composed. He stayed ready. And then, boom. I mean, that was in tight. Wow, it was. I mean, you talk about no quit with Earl McKinney there. That was, you know, I, th I don't think Joel has anything to be upset about. That was a tough battle. That was a, a good fight. And he switches over, really good, good job by. Yes. I mean, the belly down, rear naked choke man is one, some of the best finishes you can get in MMA. And boy, Joel's upset, understandingly, yeah. but that was a great fight. I mean, he had him in there, and I, I, you know, I think any other opponent would have tapped to that yes. if he had not fought against Earl McKinney. Um, you know, but great, great fight for everyone involved. Really good fight. And now we have our new 135 champion, Earl McKinney. Yeah, I think that's his uh, dad probably in there. Hey, when a lot of hard work is being put in, man, it's sometimes it's hard. Yeah, this isn't the end for Joel Winters either. It's no. just got to be very sad to... To come up a little short in a bid for a title. Yeah. I mean, Earl was in this position uh, in his last fight. This you know? is not the last we're going to see of Joel. I, I hope not anyways. I think Joel Winter is an absolute incredible athlete and an amazing fighter, and I hope to see him again. In the Ladies and gentlemen, 
Your referee stops this bout at one minute and 59 seconds of the first round. Your winner by rear naked choke and new Aries Bantamweight Amateur Champion, Earl McKinney. And your new champion, Earl McKinney.